Welcome to my tutorial 2 for SketchUp. This tutorial will cover selection, groups and components. Now uh, selection is quite simple. Uh, left click on an edge, you can left click on an edge or a face and that will select it. You can hold the control key and multiple select edges and faces. Um, you can uh, double click to select the whole face and all the edges. You can triple click to select the entire object, which is quite handy sometimes. Um, so yeah, I urge you to just experiment with with selection, but it's quite straightforward. Uh, you can't select a point, but you can perform operations on points, but I'll elaborate on that later. So effectively you can just select edges and faces. Now what we want to do is, I'm just going to triple click and select that whole um, the whole object and I'm going to press the M button for move and you can see as I scroll along this edge it goes to the blue section which is the midpoint so I'm just going to left click on that and I'm going to actually just touch the midpoint on this um, cylinder and left click and I'll press space to go back to no operation and pan around so we can see that I've just gone and stuck this rectangular object on the um, cylinder I'll left click and select nothing. Now when I triple click to select the whole object again, the entire sphere, was, uh, the cylinder is selected as well and that's because it's touching like I was saying. So say for example we rotate around and I'll left click to select nothing and I'm going to left click and just select all of that rectangular object again but not the sphere. So you sort of orientate yourself around so you can actually just you know choose that to select. Now if I just press the M button for move and click it again and uh, press the ALT key I'm moving it towards on the red axis, see it's grabbing a part of that uh, cylinder because it's actually touching so any objects that aren't made groups or components they touch and interact with other objects and it can perform, you know, it can give strange side effects so Really, you should always be trying to work with groups and components um, because you don't want silly things like this happening. So we'll press uh, space to change the operation back to select and we'll press Control Z and Control Z again and we'll select nothing. So now when we triple click on that object, I want to right click and make that a group. Again, we'll press M for move and I'll uh, click on that button and move it into the uh, into the cylinder. Then if we press, um, well we're still in the move operation now because you can see the cursor so we'll just left click it again and we'll just move it along that um, that red axis there and you can see when we move that it's not affecting that um, cylinder anymore because we have in fact made it a group. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it up to the top here and I'll just move it out a little bit like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press space and right click on it and choose make component now we've just changed that from a group to a component so what I'll do is I'll press M again and I'll just highlight on that little that, that point there and I'll press control and now when you press control you can see a plus now when I press left click I can scroll down and I'm, I can see that I've made another instance of that. So I've made a second instance of that component. And I'll left click there. Now I'm going to do something fancy. Press Shift 8 for times. And I'm going to times that by 5. So when I press 5 and enter, I can now see I've made 5 instances of that uh, component. I'm going to quickly zoom into this component. And I'm going to just do an arc move on this uh, component. And when I click like that, you can see it does any change to a component will change every every instance of that component so I'm just going to push pull that over there and you can see now that I've done a change and it's affected every single instance because it is a component say for example I want to make this top component I don't want it to be a component or a group anymore I can right click on it and choose explode that will now not make it that component anymore so I'll do another arc maneuver where I'm just going to sort of do another half circle here press uh, click over there press push pull and you can see now um, 
I've done a, a an operation on it and it's not affected the others. So that's that's uh, yeah. You can see there that um, it's now not a part of a group and it is embedded in that sphere as well. So groups and and components are very important. Um, yeah, we'll move on to this next object. Now I'll go down to this square here and I'm just going to make a circle here and I'm just going to get it and pull it out a little bit and I'm going to scale it in. I'll, I'll tell you how to do these techniques a little bit later so don't get too concerned with uh, me creating these shapes yet. I just want to demonstrate that if I double click and double click so I'm highlighting or selecting both right click making it a group um, it is made as a group. I'll right click and make that as a component. Now a nifty little feature is if we press M to move here and I'll move it touching on that face and I'll press the control key so we want to make another instance of it. Left click and if I move it up here to this midpoint on this other line you can see it's actually changed its orientation there so it's quite a handy little feature that if you make a component on a face and move it to another face in general it sort of follows the new face structure so it's quite a handy little feature there because that can be quite painful moving those um, kind of objects around like that again I'll demonstrate that this is a component by just performing a tiny little um, modification on that and we can see that it has done that on all of them and they all are on a, in their own direction so I mean I've gone through it pretty quickly with selection and groups and, and components but yeah you, you've really got to keep in mind that and I'll show you in later tutorials where we start making cars and things of that nature that um, yeah components and, and groups are very important so uh, thank you very much.